Serial Decode can help you quickly identify serial communication problems as well as identify if a signal is truly being received and transmitted from your device. In order to demonstrate Serial Decode, I've connected three of our analog probes to our demo board, to the SPI bus specifically. And then on the screen right now, I've got on channel 1 the clock line, channel 2 is our data line, and channel 3 is our chip select line. And then from here, I'm actually going to go into the Serial Decode. So I'm first going to hit the Math button on the scope. Then from there, I can select either math, decode 1, decode 2, or decode options. I'm going to select decode 1. Then from here, I can choose what I want to decode. This is SPI communication, so I'm going to scroll down to SPI. And then here's where I can turn on decode, or I can turn it off. Next, I'm actually going to select the clock line. So for this, it's already set for channel 1, so that's fine. I can choose the data coming out of the chip or data going in. I'm actually going to select data going out to be channel 2, and then I'm going to turn off the data coming in, and then from here I can go on to the next page and I can choose either chip select, which is what I'll be using for this sort of option, or timeout. From here I'm actually going to go with selecting chip select, and this is on channel 3, and then at this point I can choose if it's getting pulled down to start off with, and rising edge, falling edge, and that sort of stuff. So as we can see down here, we've actually got the decode already decoding the signal. And I can move up the position by going on to the next page and then scrolling this up to get a little bit better placement. I can also choose the polarity along with width and then how I want the bits to be read in and the format. So right now it's set for ASCII. I can change it back to hex or I can change it to decimal if I wanted to and even binary. So with this sort of options, Serial Decode allows me to easily decode, look and find problems in the signal, along with quickly identify them and possibly find the root cause and even a solution to them.